Two new reports on the virus are getting a lot of attention today. First, scientists have identified a new strain of the coronavirus, and it appears to be more contagious. Also today, doctors are seeing some unusual symptoms in 15 children in New York, likely from the virus. Many have symptoms associated with a rare toxic shock. Health experts are reporting similar cases out of Europe as well. So joining us now to talk a little bit more about this, Lurie Children's infectious disease expert, Dr. Tina Tan. Hello to you, and you can hear us, right? Yes, I can. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's start with this virus in children and how severe are these symptoms? How much do we know about what this may be? So we actually don't know anything about what this may be at this time. Um, it is interesting that we are starting to notice um, here in the United States as well as in Europe that there have been other symptoms that seem to be associated with the coronavirus infection in children that mimic other hyperinflammatory syndromes such as toxic shock and Kawasaki disease. But right now it is unclear um, exactly what this may be due to. For a while the thought has been that COVID-19 impacts children not as severely. Uh, I wonder if that's still the case and also just to extrapolate on what a lot of parents are wondering and that is uh, when they think about summer plans for their kids, summer camps and things like that, what, what would be your advice? So for the majority of infections, COVID-19 in children does tend to be much milder or asymptomatic. Um, for summer camps, I think it's still a little bit early to know exactly what to do. Um, you know, there still is the possibility that these kids will transmit COVID to other children, um, even if they're asymptomatic. So it, um, it's going to depend upon how much disease is still around um, at the time that these summer camps are supposed to open. Okay, now let's move on to this other part of uh, the story that we just reported on, and that's the new strain of the coronavirus. Do we, first of all, know if there are any cases here in Illinois that we should be looking at and talk about uh, the difficulties in preventing the spread of COVID-19 now that it appears there's a more contagious strain? So the, there has been a mutation in the virus. We do know that. Um, there are reports that looked at some sequencing of the virus itself that basically found that the spike protein on the surface has actually mutated so that um, strains of this virus tend to be a little bit more infectious than the original strain that was isolated from China. But does it make um, the symptoms more severe, though, or is it just it's more contagious? It's not known if the symptoms are more severe, although it appears that it does not make the symptoms more severe. It just appears that the virus is more contagious. You work at uh, Lurie Children's Hospital. Let me ask you a question that came up in Governor Pritzker's press conference today, and that is, you know, if the state is not going to be having gatherings of 50 or more people until there is a, a vaccine or herd mm -hmm. immunity or a very effective treatment, uh, what would be your thoughts on schools this fall? Well, again, it's going to depend upon how much disease we see um, over the summer or over the next couple of months to determine whether or not it's going to be safe to uh, resume in-person school in the fall. It may be that they may have to think about other strategies such as staggering classes um, on different days or at different times so there are not that many children in one place at the same time. All right, Dr. Tina Tan over at Lurie Children's Hospital. We appreciate your time. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.